Hi there, I'm uh, Bob Wilhelm. I'm the director out here at the Fort Hayes Museum. And uh, this is where Fort Hayes got its start uh, in the summer of 1867. There were 45 main buildings here eventually, um, but today we have just four buildings left. And when people come out to see the fort, of course, the fort was more than just a collection of buildings. There were people here. When people think of the 1800s and this time period of the fort, they think, oh, life was so much simpler back then and life was so much easier. But actually, life at Fort Hayes was pretty hard. There were a lot of families that lived here and there were a lot of marriages. There were a lot of deaths. There were a lot of births here. So people were just the same back then as they are today. Men and women met one another, they courted, they fought, they made up, just like today. Even though there were a lot of activities that took place out here on, uh, at the fort, uh, above and beyond everything else, um, the men were soldiers, they were warriors. And they were constantly practicing with their weapons and, and uh, because at any moment you might have to go out and use those weapons. There were many, many reasons why a man would join the army. Back in the 1800s, some joined to learn a skill, whereas others, they were born leaders. And then there was the eight ball. He was the guy who really couldn't get a job anywhere else. have many skills, didn't really know how to do much of anything, but in the army all the guys loved him. Life at Fort Hayes wasn't all work and no play though. There was a lot of entertainment that could be had here at the fort. Uh, they had horse races, um, baseball was coming into its own, the officers and their wives played croquet, and of course there was always a card game now. Most of the time, most of the soldiers got along pretty well. But there was occasionally the fight that would break out. and tragedy happened. But such was life at Fort Hayes. <laughs>